Hey everybody, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2 and I have my completed pages for May 2022. And I was so excited when I stacked the pictures up. Um, I had so many more done than I thought I did, so that was cool. So let's get started. All right, first picture is from Enchanted Faces, Mermaids, Fairies, and Fantasy by Hannah Lynn. This was a buddy color with Johanna. Uh, and uh, this was done like entirely in markers. And I'll put her picture in the corner so you can see what she did. Because it's pretty. I love this book a lot. <laughs> um, I just did markers. I used some iridescent or some um, dragon flag glaze in the corner. Some uh, Nouveau glitter marker on her dress uh pearls um liquid pearls and of course glossy accents and i always do um i do a couple of different things but this was glitter gel pen on the clouds because i like to outline my clouds in some kind of glitter but that was that then i had another buddy color with pixie from pixie's projects and we did, this is hairballs. So we did this one. And she did a video on how to color bubbles, which I will link because uh, she did that. She did the video because I asked. So I feel like I should, you know, put it out there more. She spent the time. Um, and what I did was um, in her, the original picture I liked, she used marker with a as a base and then used colored pencils pastel colored pencils around and and then white gel pen well i used my color at watercolor markers i have it has a really light gray and i use that as my base since this is a double-sided book um and then i use colored pencil on top of that for these bubbles to give them a little bit of a sheen since they're up in the air. And then I put glossy accents on top. So I kind of put my own spin on it. I just was playing around, wanted to see what would work and I really like it. And then all the bubbles in the bathtub, I just used um, my Color It uh, watercolor gray marker. And then I used my um, Spectrum Noir Sparkle pen. And I really like the effect really really like that so that was that and I will put Pixie's picture in the corner so you can see what she did because it's beautiful I love her work all right enough about this picture I we have to do more in this book because I love this book <laughs> next I had a buddy color with Michelle from Kits and Caboodles we are working to try and finish this book uh, and this is Baby Dragons by Jade Summer. And this is the one that we did. And uh, I love mine. I will put a picture of hers in the corner so you can see what it looks like. They are beautiful and fabulous. And I always love what Michelle does. She just, she's so creative. <laughs> but yeah, just marker, little pencil shading, some uh, Spectrum Noir Sparkle. I love it for water. Mm, it's amazing. Um, and that's it. And then, <laughs> Chompy Fluff Monsters, Volume 1. This was, I did a buddy color with Ever from the Humanity. We did this picture, and I love how this one came out. I just did markers and some white gel pen, and then um, I think I used, yeah, I used pastel in the background. And I just love it. It's great. Now, the thing that, and I will put, um, I'll put Ever's picture in the corner so you can see what Ever did. And what I didn't tell Ever is that um, I have this book and it's technically not a completed page, was I figured out sort of what I thought was the closest to this dinosaur. And I got this book out, the Book of Prehistoric Beasts which is a fabulous hardcover book. I don't know if you can even get the hardcover anymore. Um, and I found it in here and I colored it in ink tints. And 
because these pages are so big, I thought, well, if I color a dinosaur every time and then when I color all the dinosaurs on a page, finish the rest of the page, that would kind of, you know, break it up a little bit. But I'm this came out so well, I may go back and um, finish it anyway. I did this in ink tints and alcohol marker blender. I think. I don't remember if I used water. I think I'm pretty sure it's got to be alcohol marker because it didn't crinkle and it should have crinkled if I used water. I guess I have to write that down. So, but I love how that came out. I digress. So that was Chompy Fluff Monsters Volume 1 by Morgan O'Brien. A group buddy color in The Way Home by Morgan O'Brien. Um, with uh, Johanna's channel. Jojo, Jojo is a Hannah. This was the group buddy color for this month. For May, sorry, for May, um, Grogu in 2022. And I love how mine came out. And then I saw other pictures and I'm like, oh, I like those better. But no, this this is really cute. Um, just marker, little pencil, um, I think. Yeah, I use a little pencil. And then sparkle, always got to have some sparkle. And then this, let me see if I can find, if you want to... Um, uh, so you can go type in uh, hashtag Grogu in 2022 on Instagram and you will see all the pictures. So this for the for June, I don't know if I can find it, the buddy color for June. It's kind of like an advertisement for this. One would think I was prepared. Oh, here it is. I marked it. That's why I can't find it. Um, this one. If you're interested so cute isn't it all right so that is that one then my project book with Kathy from spicy cat colors floating 3d mandalas so we did five this month and I was the one who picked out what we did this was a Mother's Day inspiration I'll show you the picture I sent her as an inspiration um, for Mother's Day and uh, I just did this in alcohol marker. It doesn't have anything extra on it, which is unusual for me. Um, and I'll put a picture of Kathy's version. Hers always comes out so lovely, and she uses white gel pen. And I always forget. Of course, there's a story about the white gel pen. I can use. I can save that for later. Uh, this one, I said to color it like flames, and the flames could have been any color that flames are. You know, blue, green, flames come in a lot of colors. Uh, I wanted to do red because I literally never do red and orange and stuff. And I actually did this in my um, Arteza watercolor brush print glitter colors that I got. I did a video on those. And this is a picture that I colored entirely with them. And I love them. They came out great. Um, I really, really do like those. If they want to come out with a whole bunch more colors, <laughs> I would not be sad. And I will put a picture of Kathy's, pic the, Kathy's version, which hers was green and it's really pretty. So you can see what she did. Then um, I sent some stickers that I got as an inspiration and you can see what the butterflies looked like. And so, um, so use the butterflies to color and that's what I did. So I'm happy with how that came out. And I will put a picture of Kathy's. I love Kathy's. Oh my gosh. I was trying to be creative. And and it is creative. Don't get me wrong. But I love Kathy's. I just want to go like, tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, um, so this one. Uh, I used um, iPanda Colors palette which was palette and emphatic, I think. And unfortunately, my colors were darker, a little bit darker. I don't, you know, don't know how they came out darker. I think my color swatches are off is what the problem is. Um, but it came out pretty. I really like it. And I'll put a picture of Kathy's in the corner so you can see what hers looked like. But I used just markers and then I used the, um, in the light bluish green in the middle of everything, um, I used the Crayola pearlescent gel sticks and I activated them with water and they are lovely. 
And then the last one was, I said, make a pretty starfish. And I can show you the picture I used as an inspiration. And these were actually the palette colors that I picked out. Um, and you could pick any picture of a starfish for inspiration. And that's what I did. I really wanted to cover the water looking part with either glossy accents or that glazing liquid that I have, that I have more of. But I was afraid that it would just, I was so happy with it, I was afraid. And I'll show you Kathy's so you can see like what she did. They're, they're similar, we, I, we have similar tastes, so. <laughs> but hers is beautiful. So I just used like a little glitter and stuff, but I don't know, I was afraid to cover it all like this part because I was afraid it would run too far and stuff like that but anyway so that's what we did in this book for the month of May well then body color with Johanna in uh, Eerie's World Fairy Tale Beyond the Story coloring book and this was our page. Now I was trying something because I want to use media um, and this is a double-sided book so I was experimenting and I did it's really all watercolor except the edges are acrylic paint. There were some some icons along the edges and I ended up wanting it to just look like you were looking out out through something like a keyhole or you were spying. Um, so it's all watercolor except for she I did the mermaid in pencil, and then the moon is Prima watercolor um, paint confections, watercolor confections. Um, Shimmering Lights has a really pretty, I think it's chandelier or something like that. And then I used my, I just took water and I made this really light. And then I put, um, <laughs> of course, my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen, and I wanted to make it look like beams, but I was afraid that I would totally ruin it if I did that, because um, I'm just not as experienced. But I did put a little on the water too, and I'm really happy with how the effect came out. I like the picture. Oh, and I will put a picture of jo Johanna's, a copy of Johanna's picture, so you can see what hers looked like. In the corner. I keep forgetting that, don't I? Then I just grabbed this book one night and uh, it's my love for collection, which is all four pages from all of these books. It's like 25 of each. And I did this one, came out really pretty. I've been trying to color in some of my color numbers. I also grabbed this one one night, uh, Easy Coloring by Joshua Dunbar, and I just did the first picture, and I love how how my water came out. That was really cool. Nothing special. Then uh, I had Buddy Color in Nature Odyssey by Chris Garver with Ever from The Humanity. And this is what I did. I did this with ink tints and alcohol blender. I chickened out on the background. I was gonna do a background and I chickened because I was afraid that I would ruin it. Um, and I will put a picture of Ever's snake in the corner. Um, I was really happy with how this came out. I did find a picture on Pinterest of a, a snake. I looked for colorful snakes. Whether it's a real snake or not, I don't know, but it was a picture of a snake and it was looked pretty much like that <laughs> so that was my inspiration and I was really happy and it didn't really even I think I got a little too heavy right there with the alcohol marker or something and um but yeah you can cover that up so that was that then I'm pretty sure I must have only had buddy colors this month <laughs> in May <laughs> this is a buddy color with Johanna in uh, Woodland Mandolin's coloring book. We did this one and I love it. I was so happy with how it came out. I actually started to do it in water-based water marker and it wasn't working. 
so and you can see where I did that one um, it just it didn't work I didn't like it and so I just ended up doing it in pencil with a little bit of of course glitter gel pen and a sparkle spectrum or sparkle pen that's my go-to um, and I will put a picture of Johanna's in the corner so you can see what hers looked like but this was a lot of fun I love this book I love design originals books and uh, this should be the last one. Uh, I had a buddy color with, I know her name is Denise. I think it's uh, the enabling colorist. <laughs> and so we did Tiny Cats from Coco Wild. We did this and I will put a picture of Denise's picture in the corner so you can see what it did. I used, this is that um, paste that I got from, um, oh, Inspiration, uh, Glitter, shoot, oh, crap, N uh, not Nouveau, uh, it's this stuff, it's called Glitter Kiss, um, Midnight, Sparkle by Creative Expressions, who does the um, Cosmic Shimmer watercolors and stuff like that, the Cosmic Shimmer paste. So this is, you're supposed to take it and use this pad because it's made for cards and you're supposed to rub it across. So I used like a, a um, eyeshadow brush to try to brush some on. And it's a really thick paste. So, but it came out cool. I didn't, I don't know if I could find another way to put it on there, but it makes the sky look really pretty. Of course, glitter. Lots of glitter. So, that was that. And that is all of my um, finished pages for the month of May 2022. Which, you know, I'm impressed I got that much done. June, we will see. June is very busy. But... Thank you for watching. Look at this pile. And thank you to all of my buddy colors. You guys are fabulous. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. I will link everything I can think of in the description. And I hope y'all have a fabulous day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.